After fizzling out in Cincinnati, AJ has made the trip to the desert in hopes of revitalizing his career surrounded by young talent. So now the question is, is he going to? Dalton, deep shot, looking for AJ Green. Green has got it! Touchdown! After getting drafted fourth overall to the Bengals, AJ was able to dominate from the beginning, with borderline 1,000-yard production every season from 2011 to 2017. By the way, he was still able to put up crazy yardage in seasons where he missed multiple games in 2014 and 16. So he was definitely at the top of his game. Anyways, AJ was one of the best wide receivers in the league during that time. And 2018 was looking like much of the same until a toe injury kept him from doing much as he ended his first season under 700 yards. Although he was coming off of a frustrating 2018 year, AJ was looking to be back in business the following season. Sadly, football is not always fair, and during training camp, AJ suffered torn ligaments in his ankle, and although they thought it would only keep him out of a few games, those few games turned into a season. With 2019 a healthy scratch, going into 2020, the Bengals franchise tagged AJ, and he signed a one-year tender just before the year. Coming off of injury, AJ was giddy to be back on the football field that year, but sadly wasn't able to do much at all. You would think that his production would be down because of a lack of targets, or the fact that he would have to carry the offense by himself but he just wasn't the same. A rookie out of Clemson and T. Higgins and vet Tyler Boyd both outproduced him by a landslide. AJ had 104 targets in 2020, but only caught 47 passes for just over 500 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, it's not a bad stat line, but for someone like AJ, it seems like he lost his way and the performance seems to signal the beginning of the end for his time in the NFL. Nonetheless, following his underwhelming 2020 campaign, AJ signed a one-year deal to join the Cardinals and is now joining one of the best wide receiving cores in the league. This is really where AJ can prove whether or not he's still one of those guys. Competing against talent like DeAndre Hopkins, Rondale Moore, Christian Kirk, and many others will show what he really has left. In an offense with one of the best wide receivers in the NFL, AJ will be forced to work for every single yard. This is looking to be pretty rough for AJ after he wasn't able to do much of anything, with T and Tyler taking up a big piece of the offense in Cincy. So if AJ isn't able to do anything in the desert, it may be a wrap to his career. It seems like the football world has taken notice of the concerns quite seriously, and in fact Bleacher Report has him as a worst free agency signing by the Cardinals. The main criticism is the fact that they paid too much for a washed up player who hasn't produced in a while by giving him a minimum $6 million. Honestly, the concerns are pretty legitimate for someone like AJ, who seems like he is on the last lap of his career and just looking to get a championship before he calls it quits. The real indicator of whether or not these critiques are credible or not is focused on AJ's ability to work that much harder to be the player he used to be earlier in his career. If Kyler Murray's word is anything to consider, he expects AJ to have a big year. Now although this could just be fluff to juice up AJ and the Cardinals going into 2021, it's always good to hear that your quarterback believes in you. Not only that, but Cliff also has huge praise for AJ as well, saying that his size and movement skills are impressive, and also that he's picking up the playbook super quick. Yet again, it's important to take these compliments with a very large grain of salt. Most teammates and coaches are going to build you up much more than you actually are in order to show their trust in you and what you bring to the table. Anyways, having a quarterback that has your back is key to success. And although Joe is a selfless player, him and AJ just didn't mesh in Cincy. But now with Kyler, it seems like the two are on the same page going into the season. AJ likes to spread the field with his route running. So the fact that Kyler likes to launch the ball to guys like DeAndre and Kirk is definitely a very good sign for him. Upon that, AJ is great in the red zone, which just so happens to be a place where the Cardinals seem to struggle. So that might be an area where AJ can excel in the desert. No matter what, AJ is going to have to be useful to actually get some work in the receiving game. So if he can do well in one area, then he will be fine and will have a chance to show what he has left. But it's just tough to predict what's to come after his rough 2020 season. With AJ, it's important to keep expectations pretty low. And instead of thinking he will produce anywhere near what he did in 2017, I think you gotta understand that he is not only 32 years old, but also is only a few years off of a season ending injury. Although the injury was not career defining like a torn Achilles, an injury is an injury, and it will have influence on your rhythm every single time. In terms of predictions, I think that AJ is going to be a mix of wide receiver 2 or 3, but this all really depends on how well Christian Kirk and Rondell Moore play that season. Luckily for AJ, these guys and a certain beast and DeAndre Hopkins will open the field for him to produce wherever he desires. 
The whole receiving situation is set up for consistent openings, and will likely give AJ a ton of chances to do his thing. In terms of predictions for AJ, I think anything above 600 yards would be a complete success. But I'm feeling similar yardage as last year, with around 400-500 yards, but I think he'll have a much better catch rate and will produce much better with what he's given. What do you guys think AJ will do in 2021? Comment down below what you think him and the Cardinals will do next year. Anyways, the fact that AJ has the opportunity to play in such a great offense provides a legitimate chance for a bounce back year in the desert. AJ Green went from one of the best wide receivers in the league to a wide receiver 3 in his own offense. So now that he has made the trip down to Arizona, it's looking like he has his final shot to get back in business. Dalton for the end zone at AJ Green! And AJ Green has a touchdown! Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, it would be awesome if you could subscribe, like, and comment down below what videos you guys want next. But anyways, see you all soon and peace out.